right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the six major forms of energy. One of the major forms of energy is electrical energy, and this is something that we use every single day. Electrical energy, by definition, is the energy char or energy carried by charged particles. Now, a few weeks ago, we actually talked about electricity for an entire week, and you know that there's two types of electricity. There's uh, static electricity, that's build up of charges on that matter, and you also have current electricity that flows through a current. Uh, so the example that I have, obviously, is this circuit. Think about it. When you look at it, this is just matter. There is no energy right now. It is just matter. The light, there's no radiant energy coming from that light bulb. So when I attach the matter of a copper wire to this power source of a battery, you will see that it creates energy. This is creating uh, radiant energy. There's also electrical energy that is flowing through these wires of charged particles of electrons that create electricity. Uh, so that will be electrical energy. Uh, the next one is sound energy. Uh, sound energy is carried by sound waves. So remember these sound waves, we cannot see these with our human eye. Uh, but these sound waves exist because you're able to hear. Uh, these sound waves go in longitudinal waves that travel through solid, liquid, or gas. A fun little fact, sound waves actually travel better through solids because the particles are so tight together that they're able to pass that vibration on. Um, sound energy can create uh, when it's, the objects are vi vibrating. So sound energy, in order for it to travel, it has to travel through matter, either a solid, liquid, or gas. Uh, sound waves are very important. I know, if you, especially these um, individuals who are in the band, this is the type of energy that I know you put a lot of emphasis on. Uh, but sound energy travels in waves that we cannot see. 